Hi everybody, I'm Miss Laura. Welcome back to another Fresh Look Friday video. So this video today, I'm gonna show you some of our new books for lower elementary, um, even some preschool level stuff. So I wanna start today, oh, let me grab my books. They're back here behind me, I have them hiding. Okay, so I have a stack here I'm gonna share with you. And the first one that I wanna show you is a red dot or what we call our picture books. So this one is called The Best Worst Poet Ever. And this is a very, very funny picture book. So if you like funny picture books, definitely pick this up. And this is not just for preschool. In fact, I would say it's a little bit older than preschool. Uh, like kindergarten, first, second graders would even like this story. So it's about poetry, but it's about this pug and this cat that are fighting through poems. It's very, very funny. They like to insult each other through poems. And so there's a lot of different speech bubbles going on. There's some rhyming, there's haiku. There's a lot of different kinds of poems, but more than anything, it's just a funny story. I see London, I see France, I see Puggy's underpants. <laughs> so they fight through poems, but maybe, just maybe, if they work together, they could make the most epic poem ever. The best worst poet ever. And this is by Lauren Stoller. So that is one of our picture books I wanted to show you. Another one is called Emergency Monster Squad. So do you know what an EMS is? What EMS stands for? Well, this book will tell you. EMS is Emergency Medical Services. So the people that are in the ambulances, when you dial 911 and an ambulance shows up, that's EMS. But in this book, they are emergency monster squad. So we have monsters driving that ambulance. And it's a very funny story because who knows what a vampire needs in an emergency or who knows what a zombie needs in an emergency. You'll have to read the emergency monster squad to find out because this story is all about a quiet night. But the thing is, as soon as someone tells an EMS person that it's gonna be a quiet night, it's like a jinx. And it's anything but quiet. It's the busiest night they've ever seen. So you get to see lots of different monsters and the emergencies they're in. Emergency Monster Squad. And this is by Dave Horowitz. All right, let me put this back here so you can see it. There we go. Okay, I have two books left to share with you today and they're both graphic novels. One is for younger readers or our blue dot readers. Um, this is it, it's called Let's Be Thankful and it is a graphic novel. Blue dot readers are beginning readers, kids just learning to read on their own. Uh, this is by Ross Br Brosh and it's part of a series actually. Uh, Bumble and Bee, they are best friends, two little bees. And they are very overly enthusiastic about all things. And they're not always the best listeners. So because of that, they kind of get into hijinks and things don't go the way they think they're gonna go. And as a reader, it's very funny. So this book has three different stories in it and they're all fall themed stories. And the first one, I just wanna show you the first chapter here. The first one is called, Let's Paint Pumpkins. And as you can see, it is definitely set up like a graphic novel with different panels for you to read through and different speech bubbles. There's a lot of good sight words in here. So if you're just learning to read on your own, this is definitely a good one to pick up. It'll help you do some practicing. Um, Froggy is also a friend of theirs that shows up in their stories. Um, you can see we have Froggy and a little pumpkin here when they're trying to paint pumpkins. So we're painting pumpkins. We're making apple pie in this book. Um, we are also uh, hiding out for like a hibernation situation. It's very, very funny and definitely a good one to read during this time of year. So let's be thankful, Bumble and Bee. And then our last one today that I wanna show you um, is another graphic novel, but it's definitely a lower end graphic novel. It's called King of the Birds. This is my favorite one this week. When I say that this book is funny and has a lot of snarky attitude, you don't even know the half of it. So this is a crow 
His name is Arlo. He is our main character, and he has declared himself the king of the birds. And then we have this little yellow guy here. That is Pip. Pip and Arlo are having conversations, and Pip is kind of upset. He thinks that Arlo's kind of bragging a lot a bit about being king of the birds. So Arlo's going to show him why crows are the king of the birds and why they are the best. And so we go on different adventures with them and they argue with each other. Um, it's very funny. Arlo has a lot of attitude. But my favorite thing about this story is that you can learn facts about crows as you read. So I'm going to show you this page here. And you see this little red star right there? So if you come down to the bottom and you see this red star down here, these red stars indicate facts. So as you read this book, it's going to give you facts about crows. And one of the things I learned while reading this book was that crows are actually very, very smart. Did you know that? They are so smart, actually, that some scientists think they're as smart as a seven-year-old. So I would say seven-year-olds could read this book and realize that there's a crow out there that's just as smart as them. So if you like funny stories, and if you like learning facts, I would definitely pick up King of the Birds. Fun fact, this is a series. It's the first book in the series. The second one hasn't even come out yet, but it will soon. So the Arlo and Pip books, King of the Birds by Elise Gravel. All right, those are all the books I have to share with you today. I hopefully you'll tune back in next week for more fun books that we have here at the library. And in the meantime, if you'd like to participate in any of our programs, you can check those all out on our events calendar at www.lvdl.org. See you next time.